No, I need to get the full shot. Okay, ready? You're gonna count me down? Three. Two. <laughs> Hey guys! Welcome to our big gender reveal, sex reveal. Yay! So, I used to go to cardio kickboxing uh, before the world shut down, and I really wanted to do a really cool reveal party with balloons and punching out the balloons. Mm. Mm. Alright, so I'm in the middle of rapping, so just come, join me. <laughs> okay, so are you guys ready? Right here? Oh. <laughs> so, here are our balloons. Here are our balloons. And the gender is in the three balloons that kind of look like this. <laughs> you not going to come closer? No, I need to get the full shot. Okay, ready? You're going to count me down? Three. Two. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Hey guys, so now that we know it's a boy, we decided that we want to go with a jungle safari kind of a blue theme. And right here, we're just going to show you how we went about that process. Step one is going to be washing your walls so that paint can be applied to them. Probably the most important step uh, when you're trying to prep space for a baby is to just clean that space that a baby's going to be. Yeah, so... Yeah, we're just washing the walls, cleaning it off, making it happen. All right. Uh, we started off over at uh, Sherman Williams and got some bougie like latex paint to act as a base coat. Um, the bucket that you see in uh, the screen, uh, that's going to be used for feet very, very soon. But for right now, uh, while our feet are good, let's just go ahead and make our home a little bit better for our baby. <laughs> And since we are living in a one bedroom, we are not actually doing a full nursery. We're just a sectioning off a part of the wall in our one bedroom. Right, and the security deposit, we were never gonna get that back. We've been here for seven years. <laughs> uh, so might as well just like bring our baby home to some place that's just nice and magical. Uh, here we are protecting the little bit of space that we're expecting uh, paint to be because that's that's what you're supposed to do, right? I, <laughs> I think I remember seeing that in a movie. We didn't really watch much preparation materials to uh, get this going. We just kind of like winged it. Oh, yeah. The entire time. <laughs> right. We are not painters or sculptors or anything that, you know, has an artistic eye. Uh, we just said, okay, we want to paint this wall. So we watched one YouTube video and that was it. <laughs> we were trying to figure out how to open it when the guy at Sherwin Williams definitely had given me like a a popper to pop the top up but I didn't realize that and we almost broke the stick that we were supposed to stir the paint with whoops it's okay uh, <laughs> bottle can openers uh, happen to work thin sheets of metals they work and then you know just go ahead and put your paint on places that isn't the plastic <laughs> we'll figure it out it's one of those things where uh, this whole nursery adventure was kind of a metaphor for parenthood where you have a vague idea of what's going on and you can either spend time <laughs> researching what you're supposed to do or you can just do it and uh, the baby will appreciate it mostly the same yeah right now I am just offering moral support <laughs> Jeff is doing most of the painting I wanted to participate, but you know, we only got. I ended one up roller. just supervising. <laughs> we only had one roller. We thought, oh, okay, we can get one roller and one brush, and then we can do it side by side. But no, they are used for different phases <laughs> of uh, the painting process. So there's there's not all too much work that you can do side by side by side. But it's okay. And here we are, just going for a nice uh, first coat, trying to figure out how this paint roller thing works. And, you know, you, you cover the wall and then you get about a quarter of the way done and then you realize, oh man, I gotta do the rest of this. 
Otherwise, and, it's not going to look good. And then you realize that you forgot to lay down all of the tape that was necessary. So while your husband is trying to paint, you have to move around him to put tape up. Mm-hmm. And then he finishes the tape, and then you start painting until he takes your paintbrush away. And then proceeds to do it himself. <laughs> Just snatch. <laughs> uh, it was one of those things she was getting some blue specks onto uh, the ceiling bits and a little bit onto... The... I don't know why I cared enough to snatch <laughs> <laughs> It's one of those things. Baby is not like City Inspector. Baby is just going to be happy to exist instead of the crib. Where this is going to be. Yeah. So right now, I'm just kind of playing cameraman, camera woman, camera person, and I, I'm i filming Jeff paint <laughs> because I have nothing else to do. I was going to come in and fill in the top and the sides to clean it up, make sure we get some nice straight-ish straight -ish lines, and <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I apologize if this is kind of boring for you. Feel free to, you know. Oh, no, honey, honey. <laughs> I come to the internet every day to watch other people's paint dry, and I appreciate you, internet person who press buttons on your phone to uh, look at us, like, put paint onto a wall with not so much confidence. <laughs> uh, and I appreciate you pressing more buttons onto the phone into the future. Yeah. So, yeah, okay. we are now in part three of our nursery transformation okay right. so we didn't tape part two which was the building of the crib and the building of the dresser right. but, but we the furniture is here now yeah. and we know how tall it is and we can kind of get an eye of the composition for where we are going to take these cute little animals and have them uh stand guard over our baby yeah, so we have lots and lots of wall decals. We're trying for a jungle safari theme. And that's what all of these, <laughs> this is what all the crosses are for. This is for all the tape. This is where we're, ideas. Yeah. So yeah, so we're gonna throw on some music and we're gonna fast forward this because when you see it, it's gonna be like <laughs> Okay, so um, yes. I'm gonna get a pencil. I'll be right back. Right. So you can put on some real music. When I was showing my mom um, our put together process she was like oh wow i didn't know you guys were so religious <laughs> what's with all the crosses right. and i was like oh ma I was like yeah you know we did that to place where the animals were going to be <laughs> for the decals our number one theme is lay that uh the crib is where it's going to be so we wanted to place all of the animals in some sort of way that they are all coming towards the crib so that informed our decisions to put the trees where they are and where uh, the animals should be. The right facing animals are just to the left of the crib and the left facing animals are to the right of the crib. And it makes it nice and easy that way. Yeah, we were going for all of the animals in the forest are coming to see our baby boy. That's the theme that we were going for, we were trying for. So we hope we achieved it. Let us know in the comments. Um, what you think of the final result? And honestly, like uh, this little exercise just like inspired me. Yo, if you got stickers, you don't even need a baby to put them on your wall. Just stick them up on there. It makes it fun. <laughs> like I have had so much joy just like looking over to the right of my desk and seeing something brand new, bright and cheery. It also makes me feel good because as someone who does not have the best of skills drawing or illustrating, I was like, oh, this is great that we can just buy decals and place them where we want and make them look good. So it, it really is helpful for those of you who are not, you know, 
the next artist on the rise, <laughs> such as myself. <laughs> Probably the most conflict-lidden uh, step in the process was deciding whether Fox is going to be on the right side of the crib or the left side of the crib because the, his facing is ambiguous in a 2D plane. Uh, <laughs> the other big fight was the idea of uh, putting down the bushes in tree bushes in addition to grass, and I argued very much against that because once we introduce the concept grass. of ground, <laughs> then we have to put like the animals below the crib and that obscures them, or if we put them above the crib, we have to explain to our baby that they float because they're spirits <laughs> or we have to paint wings onto them and the easiest way to go about it is you just not introduce a concept of ground <laughs> But the ulterior motive is just like the idea that less is more, and I just want to leave some space. We love it. We're so excited about it.